on, guys. So I figured that why not you join me on my run? I don't know who's gonna watch this, but if you do, I'll French kiss you. Just give me your address. And tongue and all. But, so currently, uh, it's the start of a new year. Unfortunately, since Friday, I've been out sick. With not, I don't think it's just a flu, but it was just I had a really bad, uh, like I was throwing up, I had a massive headache, I was getting chills, and uh, yeah, it's fought, but uh. Trying to make it up this hill. Yeah, try to aim for about 10 miles today. But, you know, it's just the start of the start of a new year. And I have goals I wanna I wanna annihilate, you know. And can't do that if you don't put in work, you know. Even if you're still sick, like you gotta try to at least find something to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do this. This is too much. You got freaking dogs. The dog's barking. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot, though. Definitely a lot. Uh, like, this entire thing is like, it just goes, like, straight up. Oh, God, dang. And the thing was, like, before this, I was, like, for... I've been uh, focusing specifically on hills because the thing is that if you want to get fast at running, the biggest thing is do not do any type of speed work. <coughs> you want to try to find hills, unless if you're in like Kansas or any of the, that area, or there's a very high chance that like there's a hill around you. Just do that and just run on the hills because like it activates that's a different type of uh different type of mental game back to running so it's a different type of mental game when you run hills it's not like because the thing is like with speed you do speed work on a track you know you don't really prepare yourself for anything other than that, you know. And yes, like running around a track where you can always see the finish is a mental game within itself. Or if you're looking like to build like mental toughness and pure grit, you gotta you gotta go with the uh, you gotta go with the um. With hills, and it's just but you don't even have to like like you you know like full on sprints, you know. Just, so I just like walk up it and stuff, but that's my entire thing. I plan on doing with myself. The entire thing I plan on doing with myself. It's just like doing hills as much as I can. Because uh, I was like so damn close to breaking, uh, so damn close to breaking uh, 130 for, for half marathon time. You 
surface. Super, it's super crazy, I think. Because I was about a minute and 30 seconds off, breaking 130. And I only had like two months before that. Or maybe, I think it was a month I had. I was just like straight preparing myself to run, you know. Uh, it's like preparing myself to run the uh, a half marathon because I moved into a new town and I got, and, and they have like a really gnarly hill that I've just been utilizing like all the time. And so like the thing was like, like within a month, like I was able to get, you know, be like a minute and 30 seconds off breaking 130. And I ran a 15K last July. And I got, I ran like a hour and two minutes. So with that said, my other initial plan is to break one hour for that. And it's break one hour. But we'll see about that. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, but those are like my goals. Because one of the things was Okay, now, here's the fun part. This is like, so I go this way uh, to work it's on my car. And it's just like, this is like where you can coast. And this is a super fun part of it. But, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, again, like it doesn't even apply to, uh, McDonald's earlier. It doesn't even apply to, uh, you know, to running. Like you have, you have things that you want to get to make the steps to achieving them, you know. And, you know, things like when it comes to like resolutions or just setting goals for yourself. One of the biggest things is just like you getting like wicked and ambitious. Because like you know, that's what everybody like they join a gym. They're like, okay, I'm gonna lose like a hundred pounds or whatever, I'm gonna lose weight. You know, get, get in shape and stuff for the uh, you know this year. And then they do it for like a week. And like one of the things is just, you know, you also want to have like that person to like kind of push you to do it, you know. Or even just you know, write down write down on a piece of paper, you know. It's like write down on a piece of paper what you wanna accomplish. Uh or just even in a, even in a day, you know. But the thing is, like, any goal that you have is more than doable. Uh, it's about. You know, I think I talked about this in previous videos, but it's about manifestation. Like, you put yourself on the mindset of achieving it, and you will subconsciously, like, make the moves to achieving what you want to achieve. So say, if, well, for example, like say if you want to like travel, you want to travel somewhere new, or you want to take a vacation, like, the thing is that you just put, like say print out a picture of where you want to travel to, and you put that where you can see it every day, like your fridge. And you will 
you'll, you know, over time, you will slowly manifest that in place, you know? And just how, like, the universe works and how, like, mental transmutation works. It's just, it's a fairly simple concept, but it's just, sometimes, like, it can just be a little bit complex as well. Just because of, like, like, achieving goals seems, like, very, like, intimidating, you know? Sometimes. It's like, oh, I have to do this, this, this. But in reality, like, you start on this, like, you start taking the first steps, and, you know, you've already made the progress. So it's just like, you just got to get yourself to continue making the progress. And, you know, you'll, you'll end up pushing yourself more and more to achieving. You know, you got to start off small, too. You know, don't say, like, you're going to lose in the beginning of the, like, year. Don't push yourself to, like, oh, I'm going to lose, like, like, 50 pounds this year. Like, start off with doing it, like, this week, I'm going to join the gym. Or, you know, it's like whatever in life, you know? You can apply that to any other resolution you have. Like, say, you know, if I, like, maybe dating or whatever else, like, say, like, hey, like, maybe I will, uh, you know, join this app, or maybe I will, you know, I don't know, just, like, I don't know, because everyone's, everyone's resolution is entirely different from one another, you know, and some people have an easier time of, you know, gaining one than others, but that just, that doesn't mean anything, you know, because it's still the same destination regardless, you know. I like what I, like going back to me, you know, going back to me, it's just that, like, running is like my huge thing, and, like, I've gotten so close to breaking, you know, stuff that I want to break, and it's just like, like, this is like the perfect time for me, like, I got new, I got new running shoes, and, like, I know exactly what I have to do, you know, I'm giving myself the race, the half marathon that I plan on running is in May, and the thing is, like, I haven't lost really any of the, uh, my speed or anything, it's just, like, when you're getting off of, like, being sick, it's not really the greatest thing, you know, for confidence, but, yeah, like, this is just, like, all downhill, mind you, too, so it's just, like, super, super easy running. Yeah, it's, but again, like, I'm, you can do anything, you know, and like I said before, and it's very cliche, right, that, the only one that's stopping you from doing stuff is yourself, you have every single power to change everything about your life, and because no one else is impacting your life, it's Like, because who are you the most with? You're with yourself, you know? So, like, if you're placing the blame on other people for the reasons you're not attaining your goals, at the end of the day, that's only affecting yourself, you know? And so, just like in that aspect, like, sometimes you just have to change that mindset, you know? Because once you do, (laughs) you stop putting excuses and blame on other people, that's when you start seeing the bigger picture. Then you start realizing that your resolutions are far more obtainable than you may have thought they were in the first place. You know? Like, one of the things being, like, oh, you can't work out, right? I don't have time to work out. Okay? That's an excuse right there. 
right? You do have time to work out. It doesn't take you having to go to the gym to work out, you know? You can do a full body workout in 10, 20 minutes. And like, do not tell me like you can't do that. Like you don't have 20 minutes to do something. You can not watch TV and actually do it or do it during commercials or whatever. Just do push-ups or whatever, you know? And be like, you know, like, I'm okay, just, it's about like taking responsibility for where you currently are in life. You know, at the end of the day, like, again, it's all up to you. you know, not up to anyone else. You have things you're unhappy about, change them. You know? Like, say, like, again, it gets painful, right? Making changes. Like, I can more than assure you, it's not, it's not easy. You know, I can more than assure you that it's not easy. But, it's all temporary, you know? Like, and people just are, like, unable to, you know, unable to, you know, push aside the temporary to see the permanent picture, you know? You know, it's... It's only like a couple weeks or a couple months. You know, it takes like 21 days to build a habit. You know, so like, think about it like three weeks of uncomfortableness for something that could be like life-changing for you. You know, 